Buenos dias, gentle people of Utubia. Welcome to another episode of Werewolf at the Movies. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that was requested by a fellow YouTuber and great bro of mine, Jimmy the Freak, from YouTube channel Jobbed Out. If you're at all interested in wrestling, he does amazingly great editorials about wrestling's current events, and he's even done some interviews with wrestlers past and present. You should definitely head over and check out his content. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Moving forward, Jim asked me if I could do a review of the film that holds a special place in his heart. Logan's Run. Logan's Run is a 1976 film about a utopian society of people under the age of 30, keep that in mind. Now why is this important? Because at the age of 30, people are killed in a ritual that is called Carousel. This, uh, this ritual of carousel is supposed to allow them to be reborn. It follows a character by the name of Logan Five, whose job it is to kill anybody who attempts to run and not be quote-unquote reborn. Unfortunately, Logan Five's time to be reborn is quickly coming, and he decides to be a runner like all those he had killed in the past. This movie stars Michael York as Logan Five, Yes, well, I'm, I'm sure he was renewed. Richard Jordan as Francis Seven. Runner terminated at 016. Ready for cleanup, Cathedral Quadrant 39. Another Sandman who kills people when they run. Jenny, a gutter, as Jessica Six. He was killed, like the others. Peter Ustinov. Well, I never much cared for my name, even when I could remember it and even a young Farrah Fawcett. He killed Doc and you grabbed me and the machine blew up and I ran. Let's dig just a little bit deeper into this film. This film won a Special Academy Award for its visual effects and it also won six Saturn Awards, which is actually pretty impressive. Now here's the rub. For a 1976 film, the special effects were nothing great. Considering that films like 2001 A Space Odyssey came out almost a decade before this, the effects could have been better, much, much better. I'm gonna be frank here, this movie has not aged well. I felt like although Logan was running to get away from being killed, there really was no plot progression. This film, now considered a cult classic, is stuck in the 70s with effects dating back to probably the 60s. As a result, this film is about to get rated a lackluster, four overly enthusiastic revelations, you don't have to die! Well, no one has to die at 30! You can live! Live! Out of 10. Four overly enthusiastic revelations out of 10. I don't feel proud that I crapped all over my buddy Jim's movie suggestion, but it had to be done. I'm nothing if not honest. Again, go check out Jobbed Out here on YouTube. You will definitely be in for a treat. His stuff is awesome. Thanks for watching my movie review here on Werewolf at the Movies. Remember that you're always welcome here. This place is a safe place, a happy place, a werewolf place. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time. Werewolf out.